Following Jesus is a sign of our faith and trust in Jesus. And so let us now together declare our faith in God. We believe in God the Father, from whom every family in heaven and on earth is named. We believe in God the Son, who lives in our hearts through faith and fills us with his love. We believe in God the Holy Spirit, who strengthens us with power from on high. We believe in one God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Amen. And now Ian is going to lead us in our prayers. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, you have called us to follow you and be witnesses, to tell others about the salvation that you bring. In these present times, it is hard for us to see how to fulfil your commission. And yet we know that when you ask us to do something, you will also provide the means and the strength to complete it. Lord, grant us the vision and the imagination to find new ways to tell of your glory in these unusual times. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, as people in many places move to relax some of the constraints used to control the spread of this disease, we remember before you all those who need to continue restrictions, those who are old or frail and thus at much greater risk, and also those caught up in a resurgent outbreak, whether in nearby Leicester or distant Melbourne, Lord, we ask for safety for the vulnerable and patience for those discovering that they have longer to wait. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, while we chafe at the restrictions which this time has brought us, we remember that many who are having a much harder time Many people are coming to terms with loss of employment. Many are needing to access food banks. And in many places across the world, the impact of this disease has been far greater than here. In India, in Africa, and both North and South America, cases are still growing rapidly. And many of these places have less health and social support than we do here. As we feel the economic pinch of this virus, help us to remember all those for whom the result is far worse. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we bring before you all those who are ill at this time. Those currently suffering the worst effects of COVID those who have recovered from it and are discovering longer-term consequences from the infection, those with other conditions, many of whom who have had treatments delayed or interrupted by this situation. And particularly we remember any of those suffering in mind whose situation may be hidden to us. Recent conditions have created a lot of stress for many people and some, perhaps many, may be in need of support. Grant comfort, Lord. We remember that comfort originally meant strength, the strength to survive in adversity. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we remember now all those who have died recently and all those who loved and missed them. Every death leaves pain in those who remain, and we have seen more deaths than usual so far this year. Be with the sorrowing, Lord. We know that those who have died in you are now with you, which is far better. Though we do not see them, we are one in you. Merciful Father, 
accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. And so now as we come to share in communion together, we have the joy of sharing in the peace. Uh, we're going to be using the same video as we used at Pentecost. Uh, I th hope over coming weeks we might actually add to it. So the peace of the Lord be always with you and also with you. Let us offer one another a sign of peace. Let the peace of the Lord be with you. Peace 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 be with you. Peace, Peace be, with be with you. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. The peace of the Lord be always with you. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Alleluia. Alleluia. Christ is risen. Peace be with you. Peace be with you wherever you are. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Peace be with you all, dear old Father. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. The peace of the Lord be always with you all. Wasn't that lovely? It gives us such a sense of being together, although apart. And even if you're not on the video, um, it's a real set chance for us to call one another to mind and to look forward to that day when we one day might be back together again. As we come to celebrating communion, I want to acknowledge the pain that it brings as we do this in not being able to celebrate together in not being able to share in the one bread and the one cup as we would like to. And yet it still feels a good thing for us to do. Um, and particularly, as I said, in regards to our sermon series on the church at the moment, we are called to follow and Jesus commanded that we should take bread and wine as part of remembering um, that story of his life and death. Also, we uh, engage in those different relationships that I talked about at the beginning of the service. Upward, we connect with God through our prayer and our worship. The term Eucharist that's sometimes used for a celebration of Holy Communion means thanksgiving. And as we turn to God in thanksgiving and remember all that he's done for us in Jesus Christ, so we are drawn into that drama and we be, in some ways become a part of it. We connect with God. We also connect with one another. We come in communion. That very word talks of our togetherness with God and with one another. Um, and then also at the end of the service, we say words about having now been fed um, to go out and live and work to God's praise and glory. We are sent out. <clears throat> and the Catholic word mass is related to mission and being sent out. 
And finally, that dimension of being of the world wide church and across time. Um, communion is one of the sacraments that we share in common with Christians everywhere. And so while there is a real pain in that separation at the moment, so too I think it's good that we celebrate in the best way that we can and we still st symbolise all of those different relationships as we gather now together around the Lord's table. So let us begin with the prayer of preparation. Blessed be God who feeds the hungry, who raises the poor, who fills our praise. Blessed be God forever. The Lord is here. His spirit is with us. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God it is right to give thanks and praise. It is right to praise you, Father, Lord of all creation. In your love, you made us for yourself. When we turned away, you did not reject us, but came to meet us in your Son. You embraced us as your children and welcomed us to sit and eat with you. In Christ, you shared our life that we might live in him and he in us. He opened his arms of love upon the cross and made for all the perfect sacrifice for sin. On the night he was betrayed at supper with his friends, he took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to them saying, take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Father, we do this in remembrance of him. His body is the bread of life. At the end of supper, taking the cup of wine, he gave you thanks and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in remembrance of me. Father, we do this in remembrance of him. His blood is shed for all. As we proclaim his death and celebrate his rising in glory, send your Holy Spirit, that this bread and this wine may be to us the body and blood of your dear Son. As we eat and drink these holy gifts, make us one in Christ our risen Lord. With your whole church throughout the world, we offer you this sacrifice of praise and lift our voice to join the eternal song of heaven. Holy Holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. And as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Jesus says, I am the bread of life. Whoever eats this bread will live forever. Lord, our hearts hunger for you. Give us this bread always. And so on behalf of us all, I say, the body of Christ broken for us all. And the blood of Christ shed for us all. And so I invite you to join in a spiritual communion using the words that will come up on the screen. And after that, there is an anthem to listen to uh, using those words from Isaiah. The volume on the anthem is rather quiet, so you might want to be ready to turn that up as you get to that point. <laughs> 